Welcome to our lesson about the copy tool. I've inserted two copies of the cube subassembly into my assembly, assembly 1. As you see, the cube contains two sections, one is blue and one is red. Let's activate the copy command. It's located on the component panel. Now let's select the second instance of the cube. Next to the word status in the dialog window, we see three options. We can copy the selected object, reuse them, or exclude them. Let's stick with copy for this example and click next. A naming dialog window opens. Here we see the original name of the component. In the next column is the new name and we input that right here. Just left click in the input field to activate it. We're able to opt for a prefix or a suffix in our naming scheme as well. For component destination, we can insert it in the current assembly or open it in a new window. And let's click OK. Here's the third instance of our cube. We just left click to place it. Let's expand the subassembly. As you see, the entire subassembly was copied. Let's undo that copy and activate the tool again. Select the second instance of the cube again. Instead of copy this time, I'm going to use the reuse option. And let's go ahead and click next. Since we're reusing the existing components, the options in the top part of this window are grayed out. There's nothing to rename or relocate. Let's click OK. And then left click in the graphic area to place the cube subassembly. In the browser tree, here's the third instance of our cube subassembly. Let's undo that. Activate the copy command again. Let's try out the exclude option. I'm going to exclude the cube section B from the copy command. Let's click next. As you can see, only cube section A was copied. We can opt to rename it if we need to. Let's click OK, left click to place it in the graphic area. Another way to copy components quickly is simply to right click on a component and then select copy from the contextual menu. Right click in the graphic area and select paste. And let's paste it again from the clipboard. Let's try to copy and paste section B now. Paste. And paste again. And this concludes our lesson about copying components.